Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So this is the Canada Day video. I'm actually recording it in the morning because um, I'm off today, so I'm going to post this later today. So I decided to do a few changes to the Highlander. Some people um, put some good comments in the comment section. Now I don't quite have all of the gear to be able to do what some of the suggestions said, so I kind of just balanced some things off. Took me another eight days to uh, get that thing up and running, but I'll, it's, it's in the battle today, so I'll be able to show you that. Now, this mission is an assassinate mission. I dropped where they said I should drop, and it looks like I've shown up behind the enemy here. Um, so we're going to play it however it is. This is a um, three, uh, three and a half skull assassinate mission against Diamond Shark. Looks like they've got three support lances. Plus the main guy, so that's at least 16 units we're going to be facing, hopefully, and everything's black out there now. I guess it's nighttime. Nope, apparently not. Just became day. I don't know who's up here. Commander. All right, we have the ability to move first. Vapor Eagles, running what? A lot of ballistic and energy. So probably like 50, 50, 55 tonners based on the armor. Don't know what that guy is. Uh, it's probably a bandit. Okay, so we're going to let them go because I have no idea where any of them are. And we'd be opening ourselves up to severe attack. Now, we're all bunched up, unfortunately. I tried to come in convoy style, but uh, that's a bad idea when they were right on top of you. I also brought the thumper vehicle. I managed to assemble this guy. So I want to use this guy to replace the uh, Helopolis, and maybe we'll do a different loadout in that guy. Um... I think maybe trying to cram, if I can get a 400 engine into the Helopolis or, or 375, if I can get a 375 to make it 5.8 movement, put a Gauss rifle or something goofy on it, I think might make, it might make for a an, an hilarious mech, hilarious heavy mech anyway, but uh, we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to start using the thumper here, I think. We've only got uh, high explosive ammo on this guy, so... Um, but with 40 rounds and lots of armor, we can just sit this guy at the, end, at the back of the battlefield along with the longbow and just pot shot everybody. Since we don't use mines in this playthrough, I think it should work fairly well. As long as we're not hitting ourselves, that is. The pilot in there right now, it's only got gunnery 5, so it might take a bit to get the gunnery up a little higher to be able to uh, be accurate, but we'll see how it goes. So they're going on 23. We're all pretty slow here. I should probably try and find a command console and drop it into, uh, oop. Into the, into the, um, longbow. It's nice that the, uh, AMS is default or overload to start, too. Because they didn't before, so when the enemy got their first shots off at you, um, you didn't have any protection. They're all going after the thumper vehicle. Well, we're going to be out of AMS ammo very shortly. <laughs> I'll have to get my Guardian ECMs to active to protect that vehicle, I think. Because they're going to want that thing. Oh, what's this guy? Going after the Nidhogg. All right. Oh, man, that's a bad move on turn one. Bad move on turn one. So, yeah, so the suggestions for the Highlander were actually, I mean, Fist of Dorn um, gave me a suggestion to use the prototype double heat sinks and perhaps three PPCs in the torso. That's a possibility. I, I did play around with it a little bit. That I just don't have the sinking right now. I've only got four prototype double heat sinks. And even if I put two in the CT, it's still not enough to sink it. Um... And the idea would be to have three clan ER PPCs plus a PPC capacitor, and then maybe some short range short, short range missile weapons um, in the torso. God, this is going to be a battle and a half. Who would have figured a three and a half skulls too, right? It's so random. Anyway, um, yeah. So I, I mean, it's a pretty good idea. I tried dropping. Two ER clan ER PPCs and a, and a PPC Donnell in there, and then I tried to sink the heat, and it was like, nope, not happening. So um, it's tough. Like, it's going to be tough with that guy because I'll probably have to drop the most likely I'll drop Pharaoh Fibrous armor to put the clan XL in. 
All right. Um, I think we're still going to reserve. Um, yeah, so if I put the Clan XL in, it's using up four additional slots, whereas the Clan Pharaoh Fibers, I think, uses six or seven. I think it's six. So we'd save a couple slots there. Yeah, the AMS is out of ammo already. Well, we need to fit more ammo in that thing. All right, it's time to go. Who's up? Right here. Mm-hmm. All right, we want back shots. So let's... Um, we got to get out of this uh, gravel, too. We're kind of hampered sitting in this to start. Um, that's going to give us, what, three evasion? That gives us two. Wow, it's just like one... It's the same distance. Going from there to there and there to there is the same distance, pretty much. I guess where it's calculating, it's not. Oh, one, two, three... So it probably treats it from there to there. Okay, so it's doing... It's doing angle hex movement. So there's a hex here, right? And then here and here, but it goes along the line between the two hexes to go to this one. Probably when it's calculating. Like it's going between the hexes here. And then across. I don't know, whatever. So do we go with the additional... Evasion, or do we go with less visibility to the enemy? I think we take the less visibility to the enemy. Better defense if they can't see me. Alright, well, we'll take a shot at this guy's back. I mean, there's going to be a lot more of a shooting in a second, so... Alright, a few hits. So, Vapor Eagles are how much? What's their tonnage? Doesn't say. 60? 55? I, I'm thinking of maxed armor, so maybe it's not. Maybe they're like 65. What's this guy? I don't know what these guys are. We'll find out shortly. They got a lot of heavier mechs. I thought at three and a half skulls it would be mostly mediums. Or maybe they are just mostly mediums and heavies. We got somebody on the flank. So they've got a lance directly ahead, one on this side, prowler, and one on this side, probably. Well, they've got artillery. I'm taking heavy hits, commander. We all are. Fucking shut up. I'm taking heavy hits, commander. Oh, is that a helopolis? Take much more of helopolis. Okay, that was a hard hit. Yeah. Fuck these guys. Copy that. Not worried about thunder at this moment. We need to get out of the valley first, so let's um, let's give it to them then. Um, I think we'll use the warlord on turn one. We getting a little. We got thirty something. A little. We got a little better chance to hit on this guy. One third is pretty good. Okay, so this guy's either going to get his ass knocked down or he's going to die horribly shortly. Or both. So if we can kill both the Vapor Eagles, this guy is pretty much out of the battle at the moment. I'm not sure what this guy is going to do. We're on 14, so we'll find out in a second. If it was me, I'd push into here and shoot this guy, but it's not me, so we'll see what they do. Yeah. ATM-9 version. Oh, no. LRM version with Swarm. Nice play. Nice play. Ready. Brother. Split up! No. <laughs> Run! Split up! Alright, um, 28. 43. Okay, this guy doesn't have the... Uh, he's only a four gunnery. So we're gonna take the best chances to hit on this guy for now. We'll go right on this guy. Now we have incendiary ammo, right? But I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that on this guy, though. Okay, a little bit of damage. Oh, there's the knockdown. Beautiful. S 
so we'll use that rifleman against the overheating mech. They got a lot of missiles in this one. Armor holding. Yeah, you got shit stability as it is too, so standing by. We're gonna have to be very careful with you, and I think we need to go full sprint on this. Let's get over to here. Acknowledged. All right, fuck this guy. Um, control bursts, and let's hammer him. Target lock on. Orders. Hardcore, you know the score. Copy. We're only walking because I want to get rid of my the stability problem we have. Let's let's massacre this guy. Uh, I'm gonna save my uh, warlord for next turn. Target lock on. See ya. Half file removed. Good to go. Yep, in a situation like that, man, I understand why he ran, but it's not gonna save you. I gotta put you someplace where it's like back it up. Roger. Just this thing's just gonna keep backing up. 1.9, 1.9. It's all gonna be garbage. So let's take it. Let's just see if we can drop one here. We know there's guys here, so... Engaging with I have no idea. It should follow the shot, but it doesn't. That landed a little short, so this guy probably took some damage. Oh, he did. Stability damage, so... Yes, Commander. Alright, Bomber, I want you to finish up that Mac lying on his back, if you don't mind. Let's get into here. Copy. Thank you. And then you're going to continue to the right. I want to see what they've got over there. You might be able to clear up... Oh, we got a guy right up here. Carrier. Thank you for spotting him. You, he might be your target for next turn. Is this? That's the LRM carrier. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. What else do we got over here? Turd hand. That's a lot of armor. That's a lot of armor. Prowler is mediocre. Okay. Lousy chance to hit, though. Let's shop it around here. Yeah, it's not going to be any... Is that a flash man? That's a flash man. That's the second one I've seen now. I saw one um, playing Fists of Dorne turn... I don't know what turn it was now. In Battle for Lassa. We fried that thing. It just As long as you keep it hot, it's, it's just a waste of a... It's a waste of a 75 ton mech. It really is. Engaging. Now, nah, well... We had to take the shot. Yeah, I know. Oh, what's up, boss? It's you being completely negative, that's why. Okay, so here's the loadout on the Highlander currently. I switched out the AC-20 for a Gauss rifle. Um, because I'm figuring this thing is so slow anyway. I might as well forego... I can, unless I can get a big engine in it, there's no point in putting close-range weapons on it. So I've got medium to long. So for now, i got an ERPPC, two ER mediums, and the MRMs. And I have enough... Uh, a, a ability to be able to sink all the heat on this thing. Uh, I think we're going to go this route because I want this guy gone. So we're going to go after this guy. Now this isn't the best pilot either. and We have a kind of a janky targeting system. So hopefully, well, Rusty's actually not a bad pilot. I should take that back. She got gunnery 10. Um, but the targeting systems are garbage on this thing. So I'm hoping that if she goes later in the turn that we can capitalize on instability like this to maximize our damage. Let's just hammer this guy. There's a fuck you shot for you. That's a kill. So they, I noticed they made a few more adjustments Order. to um, tis but a scratch again. I don't know what what exactly they're fixing. Um, Position confirmed. But I still stand by what I said before about it feels like um, I'm getting more injuries than I was before, and, like, he like, sorry, not injuries, more headshots. I'm definitely getting more injuries, but, and I guess that's okay. I'm getting more headshots for and against me now, like, on the, like, with the enemies that I'm facing. So, um, I want to just hammer this guy. Uh, we got a lousy, let's just go with one on this. We'll switch it up for next turn. Um, yeah. Oh, that's our primary target. Hello. Hello. 
Well, that's interesting. So the turn two, okay. Um, but yeah, it just feels like I'm hitting the enemy's heads more. I feel like they're hitting my heads a lot more. Yeah. Um, and I don't know whether that's just... It's showing up as more um, pilots injured in the, um, in the mech bay right now. So, you know, I want to say maybe it's just me noticing it more, but I don't think so. I, I think it's like I'm playing a light lance um, for the next phase of this Battle of Asher, Cassie, because we have some light lances that are in front of our units that are um, doing recon. And I'm, I'm getting them up to to um, to snuff for the playthrough. Shit. Burn yourself up, buddy. Feel free. I know you could probably sink three large lasers, but... Yeah, apparently not. Um, but at one point in time, I had three of my five pilots injured in the mech bay. And I've never had that in an early playthrough before. So... I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, and I'm noticing, like... Light hit. The number of enemies that die now, or go out of action because of, of injuries in battle as opposed to like me shooting them and knocking them down or whatever like I've had mechs just keel over and um, you know like very like more more enemy mechs um, in longer battles anyway more enemy mechs dying because of injuries to the pilots than by, by bailing out which is, to me, is I find very bizarre, right? And I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not saying it's good, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that's what I'm noticing. So, we'll see. I'm always, like, skeptical, skept skeptical of any new rules or any new system that gets implemented. Um, so... Like, I'm not going to like it at first Light until damage. it's proven itself. It's just the way I am. Standing by. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, but we got to get this guy. We want a side shot if we can get it, and that's a beautiful side shot. Go I'll fast. take that. Yeah, go fast. Kill this guy. I don't want this guy shooting again. We don't have any AMS left. Um, let's hope we hit... We might get a kill if we both hit the side, if everything hits the side. There we go. Beautiful. We drew first blood! He never should have left Well, garage. that's third blood, I guess, but still. He never should have left garage. Alright, you're taking, um... A turn to drop your recoil. Archer? That's just a regular archer, so not so bad. Vulture is the one I'm worried about standing on these stones. Once it's off the stones, I won't. It won't be too too bad, but it's getting in, in increased stability damage, and it's got a very low stability threshold that I can't change, unfortunately, because it's an Omni Mech. So I have to be very careful with it. It's got ridiculous firepower, but it's also it could be a glass cannon if you if you don't uh, play it right. So I think we got to clean up that prowler on our flank. We'll destroy the Flashman and then push out using this ridge as cover if we can. Yeah, they're going to just... Light damage. Yeah, light damage, but higher stability damage. Standing by. Now, um, who are we going to apply a lot of damage to here? I want to sprint you out of here, I think. Ah, shit, you can't get out of there? <sighs> Should have checked that first. Well, at least you go before other people and be able to get out. Now, Shadowhawk 2C. Third hand, okay. So... Halopolis is burning. Hellbringer. You got an Ultra 5 and an LRM 20 and two ER larges, so that's a good target. A pair of LRM 10s. This guy's burning up. I'm not really worried about him. That's the s he's got a sniper, this guy. Balak. 
to see. I think this guy right now is probably the guy I want to go after. I'm thinking. He's got an arc launcher too, which is not, not good news. Alright, let's hammer this guy. We got everything wound up. Yep, firing it all. Structure exposed already. Where do we get the... Oh, in the arm. I was thinking, what? How can we expose the structure on this guy already? We'll take it. Okay. He's backing up. He's got he's still got swarm though, so I don't know if he's using that. We'll find out. Nope. He's got mortars too, I guess. Is it mortars he was using before? Probably. Mortars. Probably was. Cop. Are we too close with the AC5s now? No, we're not. Fuck this guy. Alright, that's your job. He's your mech. God damn. At least they're targeting the thumper. Commander? Alright, I think you need to sprint. We need to get out of here. Fast. Because once that thumper is gone, they're going to start targeting us and we're... I don't want to be falling over here. We got to go after this guy, I think. Um, wish I had multi-target. But let's fire on this guy. All weapons are Critical hit, Commander. Okay, it looks like half his weapons are gone. And we can now get out of... But do I want to go here? That's suicide. Ooh, I can still get a line on him from down here, so that's what I'm going to do. Understood. I want to put this mech where it's not going to get pummeled like too much right at the very beginning. Uh, we definitely want this guy. I want him gone. Aye, aye. Okay, he's got a knockdown. Got past the Got past the armor. There wasn't any armor there to get past. What the hell are you talking about? I'm listening. Are ya? Are you listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth? Location Let's go confirmed. for the finish up kill if we can get it with this guy. Save some of the bigger guns for a little later. Let's use you. Go after this torso. Um, I want to go with the heavy rocket launcher, I think, on this one. No, I'm going to save that for a vehicle. We'll just go with what we have here. Fire now. The great thing about this mech with all the tandems and that heavy rockets... Gordon. Beautiful. Is it's definitely a, uh, it's a one-shot kill against most vehicles. Orders. You know the orders. Back it up and fire. How are you doing for armor? Like this, like 320 on the front, 210, like, who armors a friggin' artillery piece like this? I guess if it's front line, for sure. But, it's just crazy. Alright, um... Screw it, we're just gonna attack the ground. Locking on. Where do we hit? Wow, we missed. No biggie. Manticore 2C. Alright, as long as you just pot shotting, that's fine. I was gonna switch my uh my guardians to protect that guy, but there's there's no point. I might as well just let them have him. If, I mean, I don't know if they're going to be able to kill him. That's the thing. I don't think they will. Alright, let's decide on who we're shooting at here. Probably the Flash, man. I think if we can kill this guy now. That's pretty darn good chances. Uh, I'm going to put the tandems on, too. Well, I find tandems are always better against mechs with ammo. Let's just hang on to that for now. We don't need our, uh, our Warlord on this one. Well, the tandems might have got eat it up, eaten up by AMS anyway, so... Alright, now we can go ahead and switch back to, uh, to um... Thunder.
I, I keep forgetting we have so much variety of ammo on this thing. Gonna go this route and um, let's just put it in there. Secure our flank with mines. Yeah, you just stand there, buddy. <laughs> Enjoy the day. Ah, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Alright, let's bring you down here. We're not going to fire this turn. I want to get my recoil back on this thing. We'll just jam the prowler, I think. Uh, maybe we drop the quads on him? Uh, H back, 54. We'll leave that off. We'll drop the quads on him. Affirm. Let them know we're here. Yeah, baby. Laser AMS FTW. All right, what do we got going on here? Yes, come in. All right, get out. Let's get out of the instability. Get into here. Keep it open so that our other pilots can uh, move forward. And we'll hammer this guy. Fire. I forgot to turn up my Ultra 5s. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay, I think the 2C, or sorry, the uh, Legend Killer and the Highlander will target the Holopolis this turn. The Rifleman's going to hit this guy with some more heat. Um, and if we can get a direct line of sight on somebody with the longbow, yeah, definitely going to be going after them with the longbow. Let's get into here. Mm -hmm. Standing in mud gives them some extra stability, which is fine. Yeah, they got to have to push straight across to get to us here. We're not in the water, so they don't get a bonus to sensors. Beautiful chances to hit. Um, yeah. Here you go. Soften them up a bit. Try and raise his panic level a tiny bit. So we've got, what, four of them already? This guy, I don't know if we'll drop him this turn, but if we do... Kalasha, eh? Kalasa? I'm hoping he bails before we kill him. It'd be nice to take that whole flashman just to see what it's like. My ultimate goal is to try and move away from the clan mechs here in this playthrough and just get back to standard inner sphere mechs again. But I've got so many, like, because I pull, um, I pull off missions on the side to get sea bills, and I usually do them against the clans because it yields the most amount of sea bills. Go after this guy. I want him gone now. Um, I end up with a lot of clan mech parts. And I think I've got like another three or four summoners sitting in my storage bay. That I haven't assembled yet. So, I mean, that's a lot of sea bills right there. I might just bring them forward and then trash them all. But I want to make sure we have at least ten inner sphere mechs. Which we don't, well... We don't have the inner sphere mechs that I want right now. So, this vulture will probably go away at some point. I know I, it's like an inner sphere kind of pirate build already, but it's still an Omni, and I think I might want to drop it. And the Hellbringer here is going to go away. And the Stormcrow is going to go away. Yes, Commander. Yeah, fuck that Holopolis. On my way. Actually, you know what? Now. Do, 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 do. Fuck this guy. Roger. Where's your AMS now? Solid connection on that one. I really hope he bails out this turn. Ooh, going for the Nidhogg. That's an interesting move. I guess because it's out far now. It can be seen directly by a lot of mechs now. So 
So, Timberwolf, Valak Spotter, it's interesting. The 2C Manticore. So these guys are all standing at mines over here. Yep, shoot the Legend Killer, it can take it, it's got lots of armor. Damage is minor, Commander. There's just something about the traditional mechs that I really like. When they came up with the with the um, the clan mechs, I love. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Don't shoot the rifleman. <laughs> I jinxed myself. Yeah, I saw that. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So the original mechs, I really loved them. Like the the warhammer, the rifleman, the marauder, like all the uh, the thunderbolt. The the looks of them were just. There's just something about the look, it's just, I don't know, it's just so nice. And then, um, they came out with the clan, like, and then they started adding mechs like the Flashman and things like that, and they, the Ostol, the Ostrock, they got a little bit ridiculous looking, I thought. Uh, this guy needs to go away, so let's just kill him, I'm not gonna hope for an eject on this, but, let's, he's just in my way right now. Whether he's our main target or not, he's just in the way. So yeah, and I and I mean, and then the Clan Max came out. I really like the look of the Clan Max. I, I think it's like, it's the one step up improvement from the Inner Sphere versions look wise. They just looks, they're just slicker. You know, they look that one level slicker. And then some mech designs you look at, and you're like, what the hell were people thinking when they when they designed that? You know, like you look at the Stinger and the Wasp, but I know they're based off Robotech, right? Orders. But you look at the Stinger and the Wasp, and they're kind of cool looking. And then you look at the Spider, and you're like, what the oh, hell were they thinking when, <laughs> when they made that thing? It's just ridiculous looking. Alright, uh, wow. This pilot, I can't fire over there anymore. Because I'll destroy the mine. So let's just go after this guy, see if we can land a shot near him. Nope. That didn't hit. You're just a distraction this battle. Don't worry about it, kiddo. Um, yes, he took some damage from the mines. But yeah, you know, but you know what I mean, right? The, the 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 classic mechs look really nice, and then there's this kind of level of goofiness that that came about by some of the other mechs. Okay, you still got good range. Heading out. They just kind of got weird looking, like even things like the tarantula, right? I understand the the quad aspect of the mech, but Target quad. it's just bizarre as hell, right? Can we land both of those ACs. Or do we miss them both? Wait, we missed them both. Because he didn't generate any extra heat. Although he's lost half his heat sinks now, so good luck with that. Yeah, shit. Don't don't fire at that mech. Standing by. How far can you get up there? Not far enough. We target the prowler. No point sprinting. Getting the same movement. Location confirmed. This thing's running a little toasty. Let's do that. Um, this might jam them, but let's see what happens with this. Target confirmed. Come on. Good, 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 good. Enemy vehicle destroyed. That's that flank cleared. Still gonna fire, are you, you bastard? They're going down. I'm I can't take much more of this. Shit, Commander. The target is retreating, Commander. That target ain't going nowhere. Damage minimal. Okay, everybody on the Holopolis till it's gone, please. Commander. Okay, we can't get you. You're on the flash, man. Heading out. Mm-hmm. Time for the heavy rocket launcher. Mmm. Yeah. I want it gone. Here we go. Well, 
That one's done for. Sure is. All out of short range missiles. Now the question is, is we drop mines over here again. How are we doing? Yeah, I mean 22. 32 damage. I gotta get somebody in front of that mech. Yeah, they're just too fast. I lost a weapon. See? See what happens when I say, Oh yeah, shoot me, I got lots of armor. See? So I don't that's why I just don't say anything. <laughs> it's just Alright, um Who has a gun over here that we can shoot at? I think we need to kill this guy. But do we do it with... I think Artemis is what, 73? Maybe we just keep on the overheat? Deadfire is 55. Well, we're going to do this regardless. So 61. It's actually not that... Uh, 73 though, like we could burn this guy up. If we get the shutdown on him... Like, how much armor does he have? 105. If we go straight up damage, then the rest of my guys can probably plow through the rest of this armor. Uh. No, let's go with Incendiary. That way, if we somehow don't kill him. Because he did take a turn to cool down anyway, so he'll do that probably again. So let's just hammer him for damage. Try and guarantee the kill here. Roger. Yeah, there you go. We got enough to bull through him now. Okay. You... I wish I could move you faster. We need to get up here. So I've got the Rifleman and the Hellbringer to move forward. They still got a lot of firepower here. Okay, the Arctic Cheater, what are you doing? Maybe losing a leg? Wouldn't that be nice? Nope. I think I gotta move the Thumper forward again. I think it might be out of range for some of these guys at the back. So we'll bring it back forward, take a pot shot back there. Oh, you're still firing on him. At least you're not targeting the guy on the ground. Although they got this guy left still. Right? Bandit's still a go. Archer just fired, so that's 19. You went. They got one guy left at 19. Shadowhawk. That could be bad. Yeah, you're going after the Legend Killer. Oh, I can replace that. Weapon system down. I'm under heavy fire here. Coordinates received. It's not going to block much, but it'll block something. We're going to go after this guy. I'm going to throw the tandems on too. Warlord it. Let's get rid of this guy now. Come on, cook off some ammo. There you go. Solid connection on that one. So did we get his whole side? We did. So his main gun is gone. So he's useless now. So we leave him alone. I mean, if we can, if we have nothing else, and we have to secure the kill, then fine. But beautiful. Target somebody else. Standing by. All right, let's get back into the battle over here. So, who do we want to go after here? Accelerating to location. Whoever we can kill the easiest, besides the Halopolis, we're not going to bother worrying about him. 
Might be able to take one of these lighter guys down. 54%. Yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe I drop recoil on that? I don't know. 60% on this guy, so that's probably going to be our target. 72 on the spotter. ATM 6s. A tag. 66 on the archer. Which is a standard archer. So pretty good chances to hit overall. We try and just kill the Balak? I mean, it's not doing much. Timberwolf, probably. Two LRM-20s are hitting us pretty hard in the large heavies, so we go after this guy now. Lucky yes! Guy. Where do we hit? Oh, that's the archer. Durr! Torso. Beautiful. Okay, who's up? Standing by. Tanks, master. I don't want to be in the water. But I got a feeling I'm going to have to be. Uh, unless we want to go after this guy. Which maybe we do. <sighs> no, Timberwolf. I don't want to be in the water, but I'm going to be. This guy's got to go. Control burst should give us increased chance with our auto cannons. Yep, beautiful. Firing. Taking this shot. Wow, we missed two of them. One AC and one laser. That's a fair bit. Okay, let's drop Taking our instability. We should be okay, relatively okay for stability for the rest of the battle. This guy's pretty hot too. I wonder if we. If we toasty this guy up, he may retreat, but he doesn't have much. It's still enough to do damage to the Legend Killer, though. That's the thing I'm worried about. We might secure a knockdown on this guy, though. I'll take the bonus heat, I think. It's the same stability, right? On that should be a knockdown. There it is. Excellent. So we should be able to kill that guy before next turn. More mine damage. Beautiful. That Nidhogg, if anything, is imposing, I gotta say. You see a big fat friggin' VTOL with massive with a massive gun on it floating up above you. It's like, we gotta kill that thing now! The massive advantage is being up high, being able to see so many mechs that the other guys can't see. Okay, interesting. Fine by me, though. Reporting minimal damage. It's your turn. Commander. And try and face that direction. Copy that. Because a lot of the missiles seem to be coming from that way. Hopefully they'll start hitting the front. But I think we gotta go after this guy. It's a free target. Just go for the CT. Locking on target. Nope. Negative damage. Good to go. Good to go. We got one bar of instability. Let's get off of the stones. Double time. Let's go. 37. I mean, so the chance to hit this thing isn't too bad before we even get a good targeting system in here. That's... I think we go after this guy, though. Go with the improved. I'm gonna warlord it. Try and secure the kill on this guy, get him out for this turn. We don't have to, that way we don't have to focus on him next turn. Confirm. Beautiful. Tango down. Alright. Waiting for orders. You survived, for now. 
Question is, how badly damaged All were right. we? How 98 in the CT. 17. How about you just sit over? You're, you're good. You, you've done your job for today. Let's just brace it right here. You got more back armor than you got front armor, so let's give him that to, to look at. Um. Who's the threat next? Whoever's closest, probably. So this guy over here is going on 22. Not that great. Hmm. Pretty good in the archer, though. So they go 19, 22, 17. What do we go on? 18, 18, 18, 19. Okay, so we're okay here then. My worry was if I if I move up and then they all go, they might go out, just go after this one guy. But we've got a bunch more guys to move still, so we're gonna take the best chances to hit. And we're gonna go after this guy, leaving the tandems on. Hopefully, we can cook off some ammo. Nope, but some good damage. Taking a hit. And we go before him with a lot of our mechs, so hopefully we can just either knock him down or finish him off. Like, at least the longbow, if we can get up close enough, we might be able to just hammer this guy. Alright, Shadowhawk. You're backing up. Alright. Fair enough. Yeah. Alright, you're gonna be the... Could finish off the Holopolis. Uh, Manicor. We could try and kill the Manicor with all the tandems now. It's not the best chance to hit, though. Like, I mean, if I expose a little more, it's like, what, 32 here? And what is it here? It's the same. There's no point in exposing a tremendous amount. We're going to move over here. I'm gonna go after the Manticore. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna shoot the works and try and kill the Manticore. I think with the uh, oh that's even better with the tandems. We're gonna superheat up, but we're standing in water, so we're fine. That warlord it beautiful. Let's get the kill on this Manticore. I think ERPPC could be bad. So pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. Eighty shots, Vehicle one kill. kill for me. SRMs are gone. That's alright. That Balak is yours now, though. Armor holding. Just if you can get behind her to the side of it, go after the Balak. I'm here. Alright. Let's get out. Oh, we need direct fire. Direct line of sight on somebody. Oop, that's not bad. Can I move there, though? I can. I mean, I could just kill the Balak for, for crying out loud here. I'm out of position. But I think we go after somebody that nobody else can see. I think that's the better play. Ooh, this guy's been like shredding his legs in the minefield. I'm shocked that, that just one layer of minefield would do that that much damage. But it was an LRM-80, so it's probably a fair bit of mines. Roger. There goes his leg. Torso, arm. Got ten turns of bleeding out. Which I kind of disagree with, but whatever. Bleeding out is implies you've punctured an artery Blanking. somewhere. Damage is light. Shall we uh show that guy what a uh waiting for orders? Uh, not you yet. I was going to say, well, I, we should maybe show that guy what a missile strike should should really look like. But we don't, it's not our turn yet for that. So Let's get in here. Move into position. This thing looks so small now compared to the Legend Killer. Alright, I think we go after this guy. Um, yeah, we'll stick with the incendiaries. Oh, we're overheating. Now nah, we'll drop a large. 
That's it. Yeah, it takes care of it for a turn. Beautiful. Well, there goes the ACs off into the middle of nowhere. Receiving you. Far back to the uh, missile launchers. Waiting for orders. Let's get some of that armor up here. Location confirmed. Do we shoot across the nose of our own guy? This guy's taking a bunch of damage, but I think that archer is too juicy of a target not to do that. No knockdown? Close enough, though. Yes, Commander. What do you think? Can you get the knockdown? I think we probably can. Let's pressure these guys. It's weird how they just kind of hang around inside the minefield, too. So I'm gonna... Ah, fucking fire it. I was gonna say I'll drop the recoil, but... Just, we're almost at the end here. Just keep firing the damn thing. There's no... At this point, there's no obvious crucial we need to hit somebody next turn, so... This guy's taking a fair bit of damage from those mines already. Yeah. Not bad. I'm ready for orders. Alright, Rusty. Get that rusted piece of junk up here. Confirmed. Yeah, once we get once we get the right gear for this thing, it's gonna be nasty. Like if this thing had three ER PPCs and a gas rifle. I mean, that's pretty good fire suppression. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, it's pinpoint fire suppression, right? The MRAMs, there's a chance that these guys will go away, but... Still, do we just kill the, uh, or I think we just kill the archer. Ah, uh, maybe. Two large lasers. Medium pulses and an ATM six. You got an ER large and a medium. What's the chance to hit? That's actually not that bad. This guy hasn't gone this turn yet though, so let's go after him. I'm just gonna CT. Angle. neutralized. Yeah, see, I mean, if we had this guy as close range with AC-20, he'd be into AC-20 range now. But it's all, I mean, it's all going to be situational. Like, I, I have no idea if I'm going to be dropping close or far away from my enemy. So, I mean, if a lot of these guys were really far away from us, and they were shooting missiles and stuff, that Highlander would be useless. So, I mean, I guess we could do a mixed bag of weaponry, but I would prefer... Yes, Staying with mostly longer range stuff. Heading out. And the reason for for that is that, you know, at least I'm guaranteed to be able to shoot at them. You know what I mean? Every round. Let's see if we can ping this guy. Got it. All right, nice. A little bit of damage. Scored a critical hit. Some instability. Maybe it'll force him to do not do nothing this turn. Nope. He doesn't have much in the way of, uh... Oh, he's overheating. <laughs> I was gonna say, he doesn't have much in the way of weaponry, so he shouldn't overheat, but... Nope. He put himself right back over. This guy's losing a leg. Maybe it's the other leg. Or maybe he's just not moving. I don't know. Space bar. Yeah, I d I, I've discovered that when you see that, you hit the space bar, it pretty much just ends their turn. Like they're walking. Otherwise, like, some of them can walk forever like Ready that. For orders. I have not put your ultras back up to. Oh. On my way. <laughs> ADD is a wonderful thing. Um, we have. To, who are we going after? Probably this guy. Let's see if we can force him to keep running. 
Ooh, nice leg hit there. More leg hits. Take that leg. And the arm. We get the leg, we got the torso. I'm out of short range missile. And the leg? The whole side we got. Beautiful. Yeah, baby. That's how we roll. Twelve out of twelve that time. That's nice. Right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so because we're completely out of position, I will use you against the Balak. And you are gonna move up. Mm, maybe not that far. We'll go to here. Hauling AF. Don't want to get too far into the play. What's your back armor like? It's actually not that bad. Let's go after this guy. We'll leave that the Helopolis for the people that can shoot him from the front. Lock in target. Maybe we can force this guy to run away. Ooh, head hit. Receiving you. Let's get the armor up front. On my way. I think that's how I'm gonna play this guy. Before I was playing this guy where he would just kind of stand back the entire match and fire. But I'm gonna do him as a slow roll forward from now on. I think. Because by the time we're this far into the battle, he's going to have pretty much fresh armor. And he's got a shit ton of armor, pretty much, so... We'll just run that way, I think. We could kill this guy, we could kill this guy. We might get a knockdown on this guy, so let's go, go after that. No, but we fucked him up pretty good. Okay. Aye, aye. PM. We were working on getting that aircraft kit. Wow. Does it really matter how... F that doesn't matter if I sprint or not. Acknowledged. So just walk it up then, I guess. We're gonna get this aircraft kill. This should finish him off. Attacking from the No! Oh yeah, okay. Never mind. I was gonna say he's got good armor, Over but down. apparently not. Apparently not. Alright, Tiger Tail. Ready for orders. Stabilizing Stay in there. Right here. We got this. All right, who are we gonna mess up here? Um, that's the third hand. So the archer's gone. Eighty-seven percent. If you say so. I do. I say so. Eighty-two percent. Try to get the other leg. Here we go. Well. Or we could just CT him, that works too. Good to go. Brother, you're going down. Good feeling. Well, we can knock this. What, what are we on right now? 18? This guy's going on 17. Let's go after this guy. We're gonna, we're gonna keep the incendiaries on. That'll at least li limit how far you can move. Target's taking a critical hit. Right back into the fire. Receiving you. Okay, now it's time. You go in here. We got the big armor. Oh, nope, not there. There we go. The big armor up front. Coordinates received. We'll take this guy out. Firing. Still going, man. Targets take. The knockdown should be it, though. Oh, he resisted it. You lucky bastard! Is he a stick, though? I think he's a stick. No, not quite yet. He's got four points in the internal. In the CT. How is this guy not bailed out? He's just like, you know, I think I've, done, I've accomplished everything I want to accomplish in life. 
Going to airburst. Going to airburst. That's all he's got left now. Receiving you. Let's trade blows with that guy. Got no one else to shoot at, really. I mean, nah, forget it. Is this danger close? Nah, maybe if you really let it stray, but. Firing on target. Really? Couldn't even splash it, huh? Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Couldn't even splash it. So the targeting the ground. I'm noticing it's far less of You're not gonna die. The targeting the ground is like far less effective as that what it used to be, because now it's like you can just randomly hit wherever. It's almost as it's almost as accurate as targeting the mecha itself, depending on the pilot you're using. The only real advantage for targeting the hex would be for laying mines, I think. More so than anything. Because you just want to get the center of the spread. Yeah. Guy's all yours. Roger that. Now who's getting surrounded? Sure as hell ain't me. Guess I'll give it to him then. You don't have a mech left. Dropped him. Commander. Commander. Helopolis is yours. You're too damaged to really move in anywhere else. I'm there. So let's uh, put this on. Well, I want Ultra 5 down, but that's fine. It took a long time for that to jam, too, though. See ya. Tangled down. Yeah, I know I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. I think this new latest version of Rogue Tech is like... For the gear and everything that you use is way more balanced than it was in the past. It's just All right, full speed. having the wide variety of weapons to use. Yeah, unjammed. Gives you an incentive to use everything. Like before, it was like, you know, get your rack fives and then just wreck the enemy. But now the rack fives are like, okay, well, the rack fives are rack five and it's okay, but it's not the premium weapon. Like you can use anything and, and be, do well with it. And now that they fixed the rules with the LRMs too, where it's just not all instantly clustering in the same location as soon as you have some kind of small cluster bonus. Yes. Armor. You know, they're really well balanced. I like the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm packing an LRM-80, but I can't blow up a mech, but I can sure as hell destabilize mo it most for like most of the battle. Which makes a lot more sense to me, you know? Barely hit, Commander. Because with the older rules, the older clustering rules, the LRM-80 would have just by. murdered pretty much everything. All you needed was a little bit of a clustering bonus and it would have just clustered through and just blown stuff up. Now it kind of, the only way you can do that is if you got follow the leader missiles, right? Um, we don't need the incendiaries, let's just use standard. All right, cleanup mode. Two left. Hostile eliminated. Waiting for orders. All right, Rusty. What can we turn off? Medium laser. Warlord, confirm. After this guy, switch to tandem. Cause why not? Enemy vehicle yeah, the, the I know the MRMs and SRMs are super versatile now with the tandem yeah. ammo because some of these vehicles are really like hard to kill, right? Oh, wait, we don't have an 80 on this thing. We've got a 70. Oh well, never mind. Same difference. Hmm. You know what? He's taking most of the damage. Wait, is which side? Which way is he facing? He's facing that way, which means. His good armor side is towards us, so let's go with incendiary then. Wait, what is... Empty 5 with dead fire? But it's doing... Pretty much the same as the incendiary is doing. Same damage. 
Sure, whatever. Doesn't matter. Hammer him. Locked on top. Yes, Commander. Just don't let him blow anything up. I can replace what we've lost already. ER large, medium, and the small. I think I got a pair of Ultra 5s as well that I picked up off one of the missions as backup. Waiting for orders. Like one of my uh, milk runs, I picked it up, I think, as a backup backup weapon. So it was like Target two of them acquired. stacked. Yes, finally landed something. All right, retriever. Receiving you. This should be I'm it. On the move. He's all yours. Now that your ultra's unjammed and you're actually firing two rounds per turn, here you go. There we are. Happy Canada Day, motherfuckers. <laughs> Mission successful. All right, made a little bit of money off that one. Let's see what we can get as salvage, though. So Tiger Tail's injured again. My gosh, it seems like she gets injured like every single battle now. Like, I swear to God, it's like almost every single battle she's injured. All right, wait, how got Rusty again with, with the uh, Highlander? You know what it is? Is she's going last, or s she's slower than everybody else because of the Highlander? So she's in cleanup mode at the moment. So that's why she's getting good kills off this one. And then the Vulture was out of position. Usually the Vulture gets good kills, but it was out of position for most of the match, so. Just to, I mean, if it had gone down the center, it would have been probably destroyed for sure. Alright. Clan LRM Carrier. Four LRM-20s. And that's actually not bad armor. Laser AMS and a tag. I do have enough to put together uh, a carrier, so... I wonder if I grab just oh they got there's the full flashman no there's not just two parts of the flashman nothing full here I guess eh I'm here for parts I think this time so 25 ton Balak yeah although the ATM six is it's almost worth it because you can set this thing at the back right it is a spotter. And just fire the ATM sixes off, but the movement's pretty darn good too. But you really need to have a flyer with lots of armor, I think. I mean, the Nidhog took a lot of shots at it, so I'm gonna grab. I think we have enough to put together an LRM twenty Zeus carrier, the Inner Sphere version. But I think it's only got sixty armor all the way across the board. So I'm gonna grab these two pieces. I'm gonna grab those two pieces, I think. And a regular, ar well, we ran an archer in the last uh, playthrough. Vapor Eagle. Customized version. And then there was two of them. It is 55 tons. Three heavy machine guns. ERPPC ATM-9. Three tons of ammo. With a mask. Alright, so I mean, it's okay. It's mediocre. There's the ATM-9, which we don't have. Now I got three, I got, I've only got one extra, do I? I'm gonna grab that, because that'll open up the three ERPPC build for the Highlander we can mess around with. Just to see, is there any prototype double heat sinks down here? Probably not. Clan XL, I got three of those, so I don't need that. Double, 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 no, there isn't. Lots of other good stuff down here though, piloting support. And nothing else that I see that I really want. So I think we'll go this route. So we got an archer, the Balak part. So that's not too bad. Third hand. Uh, heavy machine guns are going to go. LRM 20 clan, which is nice. 220 core. I think I can probably just sell that. I'm trying to generate C-bills so we can actually put together a couple of other mechs. I've got the... Um, well, I'll show you in a second. I've got the... Uh, I think I'll keep that too. ER, yeah, well, I, I mean, we'll hang on to the clan mask as well. I don't know if I'll use it, but we'll hang on to it. So I've got the uh, Warhawk and go to the mech bay here real quick. I'll show you what we're doing. 
I got the Warhawk nice and the Orion uh, both the getting repaired. I was able to get enough Seabills to get both of these repaired. This was only like a, I think this was a million and this was like 700,000 or something like that to get them repaired. Ooh, we're going to do this too. I'll do that later. Um, let's have a quick look at the Highlander because I do want to try and test out. Now that we got the three ER PPCs, I'm interested to see what we can do with this thing and how much it would be. So, um, it's all going to come down to space too, right? So let's pull the Gauss Rifle off for now and not forget to take the Gauss Rifle ammo out of the legs. <laughs> like I did with the last, uh, the the first build that I did, I left the Gauss Rifle ammo in the legs. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, it's not surprising though. So we'll do that. I think I'm going to pull the Pharaoh for now. I'm going to go to internals. This is, I'm not going to do this just yet. I probably won't have enough sea bills because as soon as I do this, right, it's, it's already at 3 million. I think that needs to go there. Um, most likely, for now, we're just going to put the clan armor in. It's always better to have clan armor on there if you do, if um, it costs more to repair, but um, it's it's always better because it, it's an integrated case for both torsos, so it's uh, much better. All right, weapon. Um, let's go down here. You can run the three ER PPCs. So um, I'm going to strip all this stuff off for now. Because I'm interested in heat wise. So with the Royal Heat Sink Kit, double heat sink kit, which is minus six heat per turn, minus eight percent weapon heat generator, we've got two bonus heat sinks in here already. Okay. So the heat efficiency currently is Alpha Strike is 140, heat sinking at 90. So that's just the base. And then if I go with the pirate prototype double heat sink kit, which I don't particularly particularly like. Um, because it needs to activate to generate minus 30 heat per turn and minus 20% weapon heat. It has to activate, right? It gets the minus 20 to start and minus 10 to start. It's not bad, but it still needs to activate. Actually, let's pull these out of here. So we're going to need the space, I think. Nope, we don't. Okay, so um, and then that changes to Alpha Strike at 121 with heat sinking at 66. So what's the difference here? So this is a... 62 difference to start and this is a what 55 difference so it's already better and then we've got we've only got four prototype double heat sinks so that's an issue already right see we we can't use the double in here like it doesn't give us any bonus because this is a radical one it takes the the plus two heat sinks out of here so we can't actually put any extra heat sinks in. So even if I go with these four, I don't have an exchanger unfortunately at the moment. So even if I go with these four, I just can't sink the heat. There's just no way to do it, right? So yeah, it becomes it. It's it's going to become a real balancing act. I think if we get a a, a regular prototype double heat sink kit. I can't remember if, like, I know there's several versions. The Radical one, right? Then there's, there's the, I know there's the Pirate one, there's a, there's the non-Pirate version, and then there's a, just another Prototype Double Heat Sink Kit that doesn't give you as good a bonus, I don't think, but then I don't think it takes up the two slots either. I think you can actually add heat sinks with it. I could be wrong. Please comment section down below if you guys know for sure what that, which one's got which. I should probably take some lower level missions and see if I can find some bushwhackers. I think most of the bushwhackers have put a double heat sink kits. Some, well, I know some of them do anyway. To try that out. But this, like, I mean, so you could do it, like, rather than going with the um, three PPCs, you could go double PPC and a Gauss rifle, and then you'd be able to mitigate the heat, right? So that can be done and then, you know, throw on, um, go back to whatever missile weapons you want to you, you want to run with, right? Because we'd have the ability to do that at that point, right? To put these guys back in and then, I mean, we're, I mean, 17 over isn't too, too bad. That's a cycle of PPC on and off. But you see why I went with the PPC and two me medium lasers at that point, right? So, I mean... The other way to do it is to take that out, put that back in, right? 
So now we're let's see. I don't think it does it calculate these. It does for some reason. So then we could just go with regular. Like, see, the problem with this now is the space again, right? So we had four. So I mean, it's pretty close to the same, not quite, but pretty close. And weight-wise, it's about the same. So I mean, I don't know. I guess you could go with. I mean, the problem with getting rid of this royal is you lose that um, minus 8% weapon heat generated. Like we could go with a clan double heat sink kit to get more double heat sinks in. But I think that minus 8%, like even if I did that to be able to get more double heat sinks in. I don't have enough really, but the heat is just way worse for way more weight. You really need to stay with the, uh, the royal. So I don't know, like, I mean, like if we go back to the, the build I had, it was really a balancing act to try and get a half decent heat efficiency with what I had here and dollar wise too. Like I, I, I mean, you can always like the next upgrade is switching out the Pharaoh, like taking the Pharaoh out and putting in the uh, clan XL, which I'm actually just might go ahead and do that. Not enough free slots because of this. Right? We end up with like way more weight to be able to put stuff on. But once again, it's the it's the the weight to heat and stuff, right? I don't know. I'd like to hear what you guys think though. I mean the MRMs are 18 heat. I like the see. I like using a lot of not a lot, but a half decent amount of missile weapons because even on those low percentage chances to hit when you're firing, as long as you're relatively heat neutral, if you have low percentage chances to hit and only have like a handful of heavy weapons, like if you had like if I had three ERPPCs and a Gauss rifle, for instance, and had like a 25 percent chance to hit, I'm only really going to hit with one of them. But at least with the MRMs, yeah, you know, you got a low percentage chance to hit, but you're almost guaranteed that at least something is going to hit, you know what I mean? Now at higher levels, like with bigger mechs and stuff, you definitely want to go with the three ERPPCs and a Gauss. But if you just need to land blows, you know, the missile weapons are kind of nice. And at least the, with the, the versatility and ammo type makes these things like definitely worth it with the tandem and incendiaries. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, once again, it's like, yeah, I could get an extra eight tons of weight, but then what do I do with it? Like the Gauss rifle is 12. I mean, I guess we could put an, I guess we could, I don't have an ultra 20, but it'd be nice to put an ultra 20 in there. But then it comes down to space again. So the Pharaoh would have to go to be able to add room for the ammo. And then, uh, you know, the uh, case two probably for the AC-20 ammo. And I did manage to pick up, I don't know if you saw it up here. Uh, well, you obviously didn't see it because I'm not on ammo. I did manage to find um, AC-20 ammo in the store. The incendiary ammo that I was looking for before that I didn't have. So I bought a couple tons of that. It's actually probably still in the store right now. Maybe I should buy a couple more just in case, but it's so cheap, right? But yeah, um, I don't know. It's it's like this. This will definitely evolve over time. Like as soon as I get a proper prototype double heatsink um, kit that I can use in here, or more, or even if I just get more prototype double heatsinks, I'll definitely be using it on this guy. Um, yeah. So the store real quick here. So yeah, I did have a bit. I keep looking for um, optics systems in um, the stores. This one's actually a pretty good store. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff. It's got a full Wolverine. Um, but yeah, advanced zoom is what we got on, on uh, one of our mechs already. But uh, yeah, see, this is the AC-20 incendiaries here. It's so cheap, right? I'm just going to buy a couple more tons of it. Just in case we have an AC-20 and we lose it. At least we'll have some later on. 
But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this here for the Canada Day. Uh, the one thing I do want to mention is uh, I was I've been unsure about mentioning this or not, but I think I'm gonna. Um, it is Canada Day, and I do love my country like a tremendous amount. I love Canada. I think um, it is one of the best countries in the world. Um, we've made some decisions in the past that have been questionable. Um, I think um, with I don't know if you guys have heard the news about. Um, the recent uncovery of over 700 um, bodies at the residential schools uh, and unmarked graves, children's bodies from um, the uh, it's a long story. You can go look it up. It's they're the uh, indigenous um, children that were forced into residential schools and the hardships that they had to face there. They had to face there. I think as a country, we need to own up to that. Um, formally apologize for that and try and make reparations for it because what went on um, I mean people have you know call it as you know genocide you can call it what you want um, it's over 700 children children at a school a residential school sanctioned by the government of Canada so yeah that's and I mean, we've had some shady stuff in our past. Every country, I think, has. You can't get away from that. Um, but I think moving forward, something has to be... The worst thing about it is that most likely that there's hundreds of other kids that haven't been found yet um, in unmarked graves at residential schools, like old residential schools across Canada. They're all... I mean, they're obviously all shut down now. It doesn't. They don't exist anymore. But still... It was pretty a horrific time in our history. Anyway, I just thought I had to mention that. Um, I am very proud of my country, but not of everything that we've done. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And <laughs> ending it on a sad note, uh, there's your Canada Day uh, video for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please, if you got any suggestions for that Highlander, drop them in the, in the comment section down, down below. The next one I'm going to outfit is that Orion. Um, see what we can get going with that thing. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.